What's up guys, welcome back to your fifth video and let's keep this party rocking. Okay, so in this video I want to create our CSS or cascading style sheet file in our root folder right there. Let's open this up really quick. And uh, okay, yeah, we're not, I mean, we're going to talk about CSS in this video, but I'm not going to talk about CSS3 in this video. Let's just go ahead and set up our CSS so we can get a legitimate website going because a website without CSS would look like something like this. This is like some prehistoric kind of gangster looking Microsoft Word document. And this is not what we want. So for those who didn't, who do not know what CSS is, CSS is pretty much all the colors and positioning and cool fonts, the font sizes, pretty much anything you can do with a website in terms of its artistic approach. HTML is really just this. It's really just three things. You can create text, you can create links, and you can add pictures. That's really just it. The rest of the website is made up of CSS and JavaScript or Adobe Flash. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab our text editor and let's create our... Oh, I got a phone call. Let me pause this video. What is up, guys? I was just on the phone for 45 minutes, but you guys had no idea because my video was paused, and I'm having a hard time remembering where I left off. I think we wanted to create a style sheet. Did we already do that? Here, I'll just do it from the top. Okay, so I'm going to go to our text editor, and I'll go to New, and let's go ahead and save this. We'll just go to File, Save As, and let's go ahead and save it to our HTML file root folder, and I'll just call this style.cs. S. Okay, so there it is. And I'll just go ahead and type something in here right now. I'll give my h1 tag a font size of something ridiculous, just like 156 pixels. And again, we're not going to have our h1 set to 156 pixel, pi pixels. We're just going to go ahead and see if we can source this all in to see if our our link tag that we're, we have not even done yet is about to work. So we're going to use an HTML link tag and a link tag is awesome because it's supported in all major browsers. And then to source something in, we're going to use the href tag and we call this style.css and I'm going to be a little bit more specific with our style sheet. So I'm going to use the type uh, relative attribute which we use as rel and we'll let the browser know that it is in fact a style sheet. And what kind of type? It's not a script, it is not an application, it is text forward slash CSS. And then for the media, we don't really need this, but um, I kind of like taking the long way home. You guys will notice that as you watch my videos, as I'll always go the extra effort to do the things that uh, probably most people don't. Actually, I don't know. But just go ahead and type media because it's we want, it's for our front end if we want it for, to strictly be for a mobile site, we type in mobile, but that's not the case. So let's go ahead and go to screen. And for link tags, you could either just close it out right that or give it a forward slash. It is a self, um, it's a self tag. There's no closing tag. That is it right there. So now let's go back to our index.html and let's open it up and let's see if our, actually we need to give it h1 tags because we didn't even give it. So let's go ahead and use the HTML tag of H1, and we'll just say, what's going on? And let's save this. And let's see if our index.html file is sourcing in our style.css file with our link ref tag right there. And there's one too many E's in there. So let's save that. I don't know if you guys caught that or not, but if you did, give yourself a pat on the back. And let's see if our H1 tags are 156 pixels, and they are. Okay, perfectly. So we created a CSS file, an external CSS file. You can put your CSS on this page, but I don't like to do that because this page is going to have enough code as is, and I like to keep all of my CSS on one page. All of our CSS will go on this page in an external file sheet, style sheet, in an external file. So she sells down at the seashore. All right, guys. Well, let me know if you have any questions. Hopefully this made sense. And I will see you guys in the next video.